President of the Republic of South Africa and the chairperson of the organ. Thank you, Your Excellency. Executive Secretary of SADC, Re Elias Mahosi. Your Excellency, Dr. Hage Gengop, President of the Republic of Namibia. Your Excellency, President Felipe Nusi, the President of the Republic of Mozambique. Excellency Vice President of Botswana, representing His Excellency, Dr. Mokwezi Masisi, Honorable Ministers and Deputy Ministers, Head of the SADC Mission in Mozambique, Professor Mulomu, Force Commander of the SADC Mission in Mozambique, Major General Polani Mankai, Defense Chiefs and Senior Officials, and Ladies and Gentlemen. It has been a year since South Africa assumed <clears throat> the chairship of the SADC Organ of, on Politics, Defense, and Security Cooperation. The attainment of peace and security and good governance is a fundamental pillar of the SADC Vision 2050. Notwithstanding the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges that Lesotho, <clears throat> the Democratic Republic of Congo, Mozambique, and Eswatini, the political outlook of the region was relatively stable this time last year. The organ continued with efforts to provide SADC member states with the necessary support and also tools to deal with various challenges on the ground. As our tenure draws to a close, South Africa is pleased at the progress that the organ has made over the past year towards fulfilling its mandate. The facilitation process in the Kingdom of Lesotho is one such example. A number of milestones have been reached, such as the induction of a panel of elders and the mediation reference group, whose preventative diplomacy will be key to peace building. The SADC mission in Mozambique continues to play a pivotal role in pushing back and neutralizing the insurgents in our sister country. We appreciate also the commitment and support of personnel contributing countries and other member states that have contributed capabilities as well as finance in the fight against terrorism in the northern part of Mozambique in the Cabo Delgado region. We pay tribute to the fallen soldiers who paid the highest price in defense of our region. The process of consolidating democracy is gaining ground in our region. This year, two of our member states will hold general elections. These are the Republic of Angola on the 24th of August in 2022 and the Kingdom of Lesotho on the 7th of October in 2022. We wish our member states and their people well as they exercise their democratic rights. In our quest to ensure a sustainable economic recovery from the effects of COVID-19, we are alive to emerging challenges 
that are facing a number of our countries. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine, for example, is having an impact on food security in our region. Our gathering today should reflect on how we can collectively mitigate the effects of this conflict and a number of other challenges that our region faces. As we meet today and make recommendations to the summit that we will hold tomorrow, I wish to acknowledge the sterling work of the ministerial committee of the organ and the senior officials committee and the support of the SADC secretariat. I also wish to thank President Masisi for his guidance as South Africa took over the chairship of the organ from Botswana in 2021. I also wish to thank President Hage Gengop also for his continued counsel and guidance as we have worked together in executing the mandate that we were given. So I look forward to our deliberations this evening and I'm sure that we will be able to make good recommendations to the summit tomorrow. And with those opening remarks, I want to thank you for your attendance and wish us all great luck in our deliberations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency, Sadiq Chairperson of the Organ Troika Summit.